It's done. Oh my God, it's finished, y'all. It's finished. Kira, why did you do this? I'm kind of excited. Ah! Should we tell them? What's poppin' T-Squad? Welcome back to the Rush Fam. Welcome back to another vlog. That's right, you guys. We are back with a new video, yes, so sir. you guys know how it goes. If you are new here, make sure you guys subscribe because if you ain't with the squad, you ain't popping. And you're definitely gonna wanna be popping on this video. So you guys, we are already starting off the day on road, as you can see. I actually have my breakfast in a container because I spent all morning with Kiki and then getting dressed. And then by the time you know it, it's time to leave, so. Shouts out to our nanny for making breakfast. Yes. She was like, Keisha's food is cold. I'm like, put it in a <laughs> container for her or she won't eat it. She's the sweetest. Yeah, so. shout out to our nanny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're actually just starting off the day really early. Going on roll, we have a few errands to make. And um, I thought we might as well just address what we're really doing because. Behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, like I feel like it's been obvious we've been in Florida for the last how many months. And you guys have a lot of questions. So like, I just want to answer, I guess, the general most asked question. So, the main question. Did we sell our home in Toronto? No, we are we still keeping got that it. house for now. Um, it's really hard to decide if if we will sell it eventually or if we'll just keep it. We got a lot of attachment to that house. Very you guys attached. Saw our blood, sweat, and tears went into it. So we don't like we're like going back and forth about it. We are going back and forth about it. We've we've talked about should we sell it? Let's put it on the market. No, let's not. Let's keep it like we've been so back and forth because to be honest we put a lot of personal touches on that house and as you guys know the renovations took almost a year and then we literally stayed home for a year the pandemic happened and now we're here in Florida we've almost been out here for six months um, yeah, it's like five months. We've almost been out here five for months. six months. Um, yes, we are leasing the place that we're staying at right now but as you guys know we like to make smarter moves we don't plan on leasing long term. We have already been looking at houses to buy out here. We've seen some that we like, some that we don't like, and knowing me, <laughs> the type of person I am, I feel like I'm the reason why we took so long to buy our house in Toronto. I'm a very picky person when it comes to my house. Like, I don't want to be doing, if we do buy a house out here, I don't want to be doing repairs for a year again. You know what I'm saying? No, we're not doing that. So I'm really, really picky, and that's kind of why we haven't really settled on one. We did find one that we liked, but we didn't proceed with this. So anyways, needless to say, we're back on the hunt again today, and hopefully it goes well. So, <sighs> fingers crossed. some massage uh -huh. <laughs> so we just came for a quick lunch break before we continue on with the day and we will discuss the house stuff right after we're done eating <laughs> all right so we got a bentley being delivered and a ferrari one's for you one's for me <laughs> i'll take the ferrari um i will take an suv yeah, we're not gonna do this again. We did this in the last vlog. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I just wanted to update you guys quickly because I know I kind of just went missing after the last clip. Realistically, what happened is we went to go see two houses. I showed you guys videos of the second house, but the first house, I didn't get to take videos because the realtor was like pretty much side by side with her and side by side with us. And I didn't really have time alone to kind of just get my own walkthrough. And the second house, they had their kids and people inside the house so I didn't really want to be filming around other people that weren't really comfortable you guys saw the outside of the second house to be honest we already had a discussion about this and we both agree that the first house is way better so I'm kind of excited ah! should we tell them tell them what what happened what happened we put an offer in on the house we put an offer in on the house you guys so Let's it's so go. unreal. Okay, let me tell you guys why it's unreal to me. Obviously, 
when I say me, I mean us, but it's super unreal to me because I said this a few years ago. One of our bare minimum goals since we've become successful was to have a house for each child that we have. So we're literally two thirds there and today would mark, if all goes well and we close, when all goes well and we close, we will have a property for each child that we have. It's kind of surreal that we're actually meeting our bare minimum goal. Not to say that we won't do more, but that was just like, if if all we do is have a, a house for each child, mm -hmm. I'd be happy with that. You know what I'm saying? Nice. But we're still young. We still have so much more to do. So... Your dreams come true, man. Dreams come true. But like one thing in life is like when you accomplish a goal, it's always time to make new, bigger, and better new goals. goals. But this was a major goal we're pretty much accomplishing, assuming that it goes through. So exactly, and like crazy. This is kind of a goal that like we put in place, not only for ourselves but to set the kids up, their futures, and everything like that. So it's just like, okay, well, what's next now? Because that was like kind of for our kids, you know, like yeah. in the future, whatever. So now it's just like, all right, what's next? You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I'm just super excited because today went... This truck sounds so horrible. It's, it's so loud. Show them the truck. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. It's just super exciting because today went way better than I thought it was going to go. So, I'm happy about that. And then update number two, I literally just came back from getting laser. Oh my gosh. I used to be so scared. I had one good session and I've already done like how many sessions? Like five sessions. But the last two that I had, amazing. So anyway, just girl stuff. Yeah, now we're gonna head home, see what the kids been up to. Honestly, it's supposed to be a storm because yesterday it was a rainstorm. We saw a snake in our backyard yesterday. Oh my gosh, how did I forgot to tell you guys that? Callie found a snake in our backyard. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna show you guys. It's okay, Callie, where is it? Where? <laughs> if I lift this up, there's a snake under here? Ah! It's a snake! Oh my gosh! Holy smokes, you guys. I thought Callie was pranking us, y'all. That is a big snake. Oh my gosh! Y'all, we just got home, and apparently our house is a madhouse when we're not home. Probably the exact same reason why I couldn't find my lip gloss before I left the house. I go in the bathroom and somebody's cell phone was left on my counter as evidence. I'm just trying to see no, if she's gonna admit it. I was cleaning Kira's um, boo boo. You were clearing, you were cleaning Kira's boo boos, but what happened to all my lip gloss? I don't know. So where did they all disappear to? I don't know. Kira, why are you, why are you hiding over here all suspect? <laughs> it's not funny. And why is there marker on your face? Oh my gosh. Why is there marker on your face? Hmm? Show the mirror. You want to see in the mirror? You can't see, you're too short. Why are you putting marker on your face? That's not good. Where are we supposed to draw? On the paper? Yes. So we're not going to draw on our face, okay? And where is my lip gloss? Not me, take it. Are you sure? No, not me. Not you? I don't believe you. Hey, you yeah. think it, mommy? No, I was cleaning your boo boo, see? Don't mind the laundry yeah. in the back. Callie, oh my gosh, Callie, that's a big side of her. I'm the one that put the bandaid on her. I put a different bandaid on her. Actually. No, wait, Callie, Kira, let me see. Let me see. That's one I put on. Why are you lying? I put a different bandaid on. Okay, guys, th this isn't no, time no, to no, argue no. right now. I'm just trying to figure out what happened to my lip gloss. Y'all can solve your problems after. No. Mom, you, you know I wouldn't touch your lip gloss. I know that. I'm just trying to get down to the bottom of it. Have you seen any of them anywhere? Well, I I think I've seen one. Mommy. A pink one. I saw a pink one. Where? Mom, let me take it. You did take it? Mm -hmm. oh, mommy. Wait, is it you or is it not you? First you said it's you. Now you said it's not you. Forty-three minutes later. Oh my gosh, you guys! You have to not believe what Kira did. Hold on, before you show them, why are you smiling right now? This is not funny. I remember, I, I can't stop smiling. But for something bad, though. <laughs> yeah. We're not capping, y'all. This is not faking it for the camera. It, something bad happened, but Camaro's smiling. Stop smiling. Okay, okay. 
let's just show you guys. Look, Kira threw Callie's Nintendo inside the pool. Oh my gosh, we have to go check that out. First of all, ask her why she did that, bro. Kira, why did you do that? That's all you had to say, sorry? Kira. What? Kira. Come here. Wait. Why did is you? Is that an iguana? Come here, Kira. Why did you do that, Kira? Why did you do that, huh? Cause, Cause what? Cause that was broken. Huh? But Kaya will catch it. You're in big, big trouble. But she said because Callie will catch it. But come here. How did she get it in there with this? We have this safety net here on the pool. You threw it over the fence. <laughs> How is she going to catch that? Kelly won't catch it. But, yeah, but we can't have it sitting in there for much longer. I think it's already broken, bro. It's done. Oh my god. It's finished, y'all. It's, it's finished. Kira, why did you do this? Why did you do this? Well, why? Well, Kelly doesn't even play on it at all anymore. She never even played on Nintendo barely ever. Never ever. And you guys, I, I, as I say, I think that's an iguana. A uh, duck flies in the pool. <laughs> as I say. <laughs> come boy, come. Come boy, come. come, boy, come. But, what is going on? Come, 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 come. But I wanna know if that's an iguana. Why is the duck on right now? Come on, ducky. Kira, don't get wet. Oh. Here, come here, come here. What's this duck doing? This duck is so weird. What is he doing? Are his babies in there? What is he doing? Come Dad, here. Come here. male birds don't lay eggs. How do you know it's a male? I don't, but you just said he, he, he probably has eggs. Well, okay, but maybe he's the dad of the eggs. You guys, something very strange is happening right now, okay? We're gonna talk about the, the Nintendo being in the water in a minute, y'all. But for right now, we gotta figure out what this duck is doing. Because he came into the pool while we're right here, and shouldn't he be scared of us? That's weird. Number two, he just went into this, he went into this bush right here. I think he probably has babies in there. Why else would he be doing that? He's right here. What are you doing, bro? Where, where is he? He's in here, right here. Yeah, he's right there, what? sitting on something. Jeff, I think he has his babies in there. Why else would he be doing that? Maybe it's a female. Maybe it's a or female her. warming up. What is she doing? I think she's in there to protect her babies, y'all. That's the only thing. It's like she's sitting on something, Camaro. Kaka! Kaka! Dad, that call's not gonna work. Kaka! Camaro, you try. Kaka! 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 Kira, do your bird call. Dad, I had to call Nana Bonnie. Kaka! Kaka! Oh my gosh, I'm right. That's his nest, or her nest. I think so. Can y'all see her? I had to tell Nana Bonnie. Oh my gosh, y'all. Nana Bonnie wanted me to tell her if the ducks are having eggs. Their nest is right here. I had to call her. Oh my gosh. Nah, this is actually crazy. Bruh. Look, look at me, baby ducks swimming in the pool soon. This is wild, y'all. Yesterday we had snakes. Today we got lizards in the house. And now we find out ducks are literally starting their families at the side of our swimming pool, we got Nintendo Switches in the swimming pool. Kira, you're all wet now? I uh, just washed my boo-boo. You're just washing your boo-boo? <laughs> you, you guys. <laughs> it's good now? It feels better now? You know, guys, look at my boo-boo. Oh, you want to show them your boo-boo? Okay. It's a big deal, you guys. Look. Look at Kira's boo-boo right there. Are you okay? But, but, you know, we, it's me. Oh, Camille's doing the bird call. Anyways, y'all, we got so much going on. Kira, come here. Come here. We're going to talk about this before Kira forgets all about it. Electronics and things like this do not go in the swimming pool. Do you hear me? These do not go in the swimming pool. Do you hear me? Say it. She's in. She's 
we're gonna just talk about the ducks now. But listen, Kira. The ducks. Yeah, the ducks are sitting on their babies. But don't throw stuff in the swimming pool, okay? You promise? Pinky promise? Pinky promise? One, two, get. Okay, you won't do it. All right. No, my pool. That works for me. Another thing I'm thinking about this duck situation, you guys. I know animals obviously get very defensive and territorial of their babies. I hope that nothing happens with these babies because if you get too close to the duck and it starts to feel like it needs to protect its babies, I really don't know what ducks are capable of, y'all. In Canada, we have Canadian geese, which are crazy and they go really wild when people come too close. But these are like Florida ducks or some sort of Florida birds. So I really don't know what they do, but this is crazy, y'all. We're definitely going to keep you guys updated. We're going to try to see if there is babies that she or he is sitting on. I think it's a female. I think it's a she, and I think there's babies underneath. That's the only thing that makes any sense right now. What, baby? Tell me Oh, you want to talk to the camera? No, 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 guys. The moment is good. The bush she baby eggs. Yeah, she's sitting on her baby ducks, right? On the eggs. Uh, come on, come on, baby ducks. Aww. Come on, come on. Come I don't on. think they're gonna hatch right now, Kira. Aww. 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 It's okay. Okay, so I'm in the office and. Guess what, guys? Yeah, I found a. Say. I found a lizard in mom and dad's room. So what I want to know, that's a serious lizard, by the way. It's it almost looks like a baby cool. crocodile, but I know they couldn't be that small. No. My question is, what were you guys no, no, doing? No, no, no. What? Uh, uh, it's not a baby. Yes, it's it not is. a baby, then yes, what is it? Is. it? Uh, it's sleeping. Mm -mm. Anyway, I want to know what you were doing while mommy and daddy weren't home for a lizard to get in our room. I don't know. Leaving the doors open again? It wasn't even open, right, Camaro? It was an open, Mom. Camaro, when we came home, the front door was open. Mm. Dad does not do anything with me. Remember how you found the snake yesterday? Mm -hmm. No, So, do we want snakes in our house too? No. no. Snakes, storms, and lizards. <laughs> That's been the theme the last couple yeah. days. So Callie, I was telling T-Squad that you found a snake. Do you want to tell them how scary it was or what happened? So it was out and then it went back in because it was really fast. So I was like, okay, it's just a lizard. Let me just try to catch it. Like, you didn't try to catch I, the snake. I, I, the snake I'm talking about. I know, oh. but like I thought it was a lizard, so I tried to catch it. I was about to lift the thing up, but then once I saw it stick out its tongue and I saw the head, I'm like, okay, I better run. I was like this. So I was like, there's a snake. What? And then you guys were like, okay. It's we like didn't believe you, I'm not gonna lie. What, Kira? Yeah, and then once you lifted it up, once Daddy I thought lifted it, it was up? a thick snake. The snake was pretty big though. Yeah. I was shook, I'm not gonna lie. First we thought Callie was lying because not that she was lying, Hold on, Kira. We didn't necessarily believe her because she was pointing to like the side of the house where the hose was and we're like, what snake? You're probably seeing the hose. And she's like, no, trust me. If you lift the bin up, cause there was a bin outside. No. If you lift the bin up, the snake is under it. If you guys see the clip, you'll see that. If I lift this up, there's a snake under here. <laughs> it was a big snake. And if you pause it and then you'll see the snake, it's gonna be beside the hose. Kira, can it's you push your It's a long down? snake. <laughs> Yeah, it was a pretty big snake. Mommy. We were all pretty scared. Mommy. Yes. What is this? I was mostly scared. I was crying. Mommy. Yeah, Mommy. you were crying. What the? Is, wait, too long. Oh, she's like he's going to sleep. Just make sure you go put it back outside. Yeah, you guys. So I actually need to take out Kira's hair. She's had braids in for like two weeks. Yeah, it lasted pretty long. So I'm not mad at it. I did it myself, you know, braiding. I don't even know how I braided her hair with these long nails. And then Callie's getting her hair braided tomorrow. I actually might get some single braids myself tomorrow. I'm actually about to record a video for our gaming channel with Callie. And if you guys aren't aware, we have a gaming channel called Famous Tube Gaming. So show some love, head on over there, subscribe, show us some love. Um, we play all kinds of games over there. So as you guys know, we juggle a lot of channels. We keep things going, but I appreciate all of you guys coming back and watching another vlog. And if you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up and subscribe. Cause if you ain't with the squad, you ain't popping. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace, 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 peace. Love y'all.